I grew up in the fucking Caribbean, in the Southern Caribbean, on Aruba, which is the closest island to South America. Venezuela is right there. Now picture this. You're 13 years old. You're 13 years old. Your first day of middle school, okay, what we call fucking Mavo, Havo, middle battle all playing or whatever, okay? You go over there. And all right, you got your fucking, you got your fucking Pokemon cards, you got your fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you got your fucking Bakugan cards ready to fucking go. And you're so fucking excited to share your interest over there. Dude, it's a fucking Christian island, and back in the day it was dominated by people who fucking listened to Chino and Nacho and a shit on a reggaeton. Dude, back then, being a nerd was a death sentence, my G, a fucking death sentence. Like, you could go to war armed with a fucking wooden spoon, alright? And that would have been easier. That would have been fucking easier. Like, dude, if you talked about fucking video games, you sure as shit, you should, you should have been talking about fucking Call of Duty or FIFA or whatever. If you talked about fucking Monster Hunter, they'll, they'll look, they'll look at you like you fucking escaped an asylum. Oh man, oh my big thing back in the day. Okay, I, I used to watch a shit ton of Naruto. Of, I used to watch like Naruto, and there was this anime back in the day that fucking aired. It was called Zatch Bell. Alright, I don't remember much about it. It's like these magical fucking kids and these guys, they fucking had these textbooks, these spells, and these kids, they basically performed those spells. Again, they had like fucking teeny tiny horns. Alright, but fucking... And when I talked about that shit, okay, I was like, it was like a small niche of people that were into that type of shit, and into that type of shit, okay? We were the people who spoke English on the schoolyard. And that was a fucking taboo. If you spoke English and you brought your fucking Game Boy Advanced SP or your fucking Nintendo DS or your fucking PSP to school, congratulations, you were a nerd. And if you were a nerd, you weren't doing too well on the social ladder. I was never doing too well on the social ladder to begin with, man. But dumbass me didn't fucking realize that. And I, I remember I saw this video with, uh, I can't remember if it was like Emerichu, but yeah, it was uh, Emerichu, this guy, C, this YouTuber C Dog and Didus, okay? They were talking about like their embarrassing weave years. And fucking C Dog, he goes into this uh, thing where he had, he did the one piece rap he did the fucking one piece rap and he got bullied for that right dude i back in the day okay all of our transmissions from like from cartoon network in general okay it came from either mexico and latino america in general so when i watch dragon ball z i watch the spanish dub of dragon ball z but dude i remember <laughs> i sang dude uh, like, I fucking I was I was trying to make make new friends. I I tried to be social, but fucking Maria Colegio ruined that. Dude, that shit was fu that shit was the f it was the fucking skid row of Aruba back in the day, man. Guantanamo Bay ain't had nothing on that. It didn't have anything on that fucking school. Uh, back with the whole Dragon Ball Z thing, I, I I had the whole fucking song memorized in Spanish, and I and I tried to like approach like the, some of my classmates like, hey, do you watch Dragon Ball Z? And like, oh, I never, no, I didn't know about Dragon Ball Z, and to me that was like fucking, how do you not know about Dragon Ball? But keep in mind, I was like fucking thirteen and chubby as shit, <laughs> and I asked them, like, the, okay, what's the theme song like? like chala, hey chala, no importa. <laughs> No, but fucking, I, <laughs> and dude, they would like, I, it's like, like the same thing what they did with Sea Dog, they're like, hey, can you do it again? So I fucking re did the song, and it took me like fucking three or four attempts to realize that, oh, fuck, they're making fun of me. <laughs> and, hey, dude, those kids, boy, those kids were merciless. But my god, if you were a nerd back then, Fucking bless your soul. Oh, and when we got to colegio, okay, when I went to the other school, okay, I eventually, like, got good grades. I don't know. I fucking got good grades, and they fucking left me, and they fucking said, okay, no, cool. Yeet, you're off to colegio then. Back in the day, what, okay, we called them, before they were known as memes to us, we called them rage comics, all right? It was back then, my dude. Back in the day of Epic Neon Cat, Ray William Johnson, Alright, when Smosh made fucking Pokemon, when Smosh made Pokemon's, um, parodies and fucking video game songs. How many fools can I kill today? 
Too many to count, don't get my way. <laughs> oh man, it was a good time. At home. <laughs> Once you get to school, you were basically a fucking injured gazelle in a den of hyenas. I'm seeing like how people are like really open. There are anime conventions and stuff like that. And I'm seeing how people are like really fucking open. Like now being a nerd, being a nerd is cool now. Being a nerd is fucking cool now. Like where the fuck was this 10 years ago? <laughs> Dude, I used to like be, I used to be like so into anime back in the day. One anime, it wasn't an anime, but it was kind of like this Japanese thing, okay? I read the manga and everything, it was called Corpse Party, alright? Corpse Party, I had watched PewDiePie play it, then I found out it had a manga, then I found out it had an anime adaptations, and I fucking loved gory shit even back in the day, so I fucking gave it a watch and stuff like that, okay? And... <laughs> I wanted to draw the main villain. I can't remember what her name was. There was like this kid, this ghostly child. She was the main character of this uh, fucking... She was the main character, like the main antagonist, sorry, of this uh, anime, of this fucking uh, thing. So I like fucking draw... I was like drawing her in the middle of... Yeah, we had like fucking studio or whatever it was. Mental last year. I can't remember what it's called. It's basically a time where you can actually sit down do extra homework. Nobody did extra homework. Everybody slept in that class. Okay? I'm fucking draw drawing this fucking character. And I'm fucking drawing this fucking character. And I can't remember if it was this guy Justin or some shit. He fucking look. I'm snitching on everybody. Fuck all of y'all. <laughs> I'm fucking drawing away, right? And yeah, like, hey, what you drawing? Oh, it's this girl from this anime. And like, <gasps> this dude watches anime this fucking man watches anime in front of the whole fucking class and dude i i, I was traumatized man I, I legit did not watch anime for years i fell into the ground like no nah, man and anime is like for fucking degenerates so that's why like to this day when i tell people i am a born again weeb i genuinely mean it i am a born again weeb between the ages of fucking 15 the 20 no the 15 to 20 or 21 i did not watch a single episode of literally any anime whatsoever like, it took me, like, fucking graduating and fucking going to the military where I eventually figured out, like, hey, no, I really shouldn't give a fuck about these things, where I started getting back into it again. And the first anime I watched afterwards was fucking, yeah, it was the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Because I wanted to watch the original FMA because I remember they aired a couple of episodes of it, but since it, it aired right when I had to go to school, I couldn't watch it. But then I realized, they told me that, okay, now Brotherhood is based off of the actual finished manga so i'm like all right cool i'ma watch brotherhood instead which apparently is fucking sacrilege but i don't give two fucks <laughs> nah man but dude now being a nerd is cool if you're a nerd now you're trend <laughs> you're trendy you're you're quirky mm, so quirky fuck off Hey everybody, what is up? It is Stan from the future editing this video. Um, my microphone's not working for some reason, so I'm just using the built-in microphone on the iPad. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this highlight. Okay, I really enjoyed making it. Who the? F but anyway, if you re if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You know, a little uh, thumbs up button down there, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Even though I just said like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Anywho. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Stan the Man, signing off.